Hey guys, Armageddon here. I've got a treat, a treat today. I have literally not opened this box yet, but inside this box is the new BNT APC 308. So this is this is the rifle of the DMR version. This is the full long fluted barrel, which is super cool. This just this is the first one in Canada, as far as I know. This is literally the gun that uh, I believe that went to the firearms lab, the Federal Firearms Police have a laboratory where they you know, go through guns and make sure that, you know, the average civilian like myself can't just, you know, throw a spring in there and make it full auto. So but that's an oversimplification, but essentially that's the general idea. So that should be this gun. With that said, this came in a box from Wolverine Supplies, not the original B&T box. And Wolverine Supplies is the Canadian distributor for, for B&T. And uh, just to show you quickly how much, how close B&T and Wolverine Supplies are, they literally laser engrave Wolverine Supplies logo into the receivers of their guns. Pretty sweet. The owner, John Hipwell, goes way back with the owner of B&T, Carl Bruger. So it's just, it's really cool to see. And I recently paid a visit to Wolverine Supplies. I mean, I promise I'm going to stop talking about random stuff here real quick and get into this gun because I've literally have not opened this yet. I'm super stoked to get into it as well. But just a little history while I've got you all captivated here is uh, I went to Wolverine Supplies recently. Did a visit there, did a video that's on here. I'll post a link right uh, here, I guess. And I just pulled a whole bunch of guns that were all B&T, did a quick overview of them. A lot of them actually were select fire guns. There was an integrally suppressed APC-9. There was the new APC-9 Pro K oh, with the Glock lower. Just so much cool stuff. The new grenade launcher, lots of cool stuff. So go check that video out if you want to see more. Currently, uh, Currently, well, I've got a few other guns here by APC, or Bruger and Tomic, rather. These are my personal guns. The USW. This is a phenomenal gun. I've owned this thing for th three years, I think now, just about. And I love it. It was expensive, but I have never once regretted the purchase. It comes with a ton of features, and this was actually my feature firearm uh, the, uh, the previous week. So, there's a whole, if you want to know more about it, I'll put a link right here to the little three-minute overview video, or intro video. Give that a look if you like it. I've also got a shooting video, a disassembly video, and another a longer overview video that talks about this and all the kit that came with it. So that's the uh, the USW chambered in 9mm. Then we got the APC223. This is the SBR. This thing, I recently took this out for the shooting video. I haven't posted it yet. I'm going to do a video series on this real soon as well. But uh, but after, this, this next full week is all going to be on this guy, the APC308. But this is the baby brother, the 223, and this is the SBR with the 10.5 inch barrel. And what can I say? It is it is a beaut. Love this thing. I've done a few upgrades myself. I threw this folding charging handle on here, which I really like. The action is just buttery smooth. And the stock is money, literally money. It costs a ton, but it is probably the best quality. It's without a doubt the best quality PDW stock I've seen to date and uh, it fits this gun fantastic. So this little guy up here, I will talk more about in the actual video about this gun. Suffice to say, it is not a suppressor, so I'm not breaking any laws in Canada, where I am, but uh, oh, sweet gun. That'll be coming up in the next, like December might just be like Bruger and Talmud month because I've already done my APC in November or my, my USW. This guy will be next month and uh, well, this guy will be kicking off, kicking off this month here. So let's go, let's bust this thing open. Literally have not opened this box. Again, considering it's the Wolverine Supplies box, not the B&T box. And again, this gun's probably bent back and forth from the lab already. I'm guessing it might not have anything other than the gun in it. That might literally be the case, but we will find out. And if it is the case, I will be bugging these guys for whatever extra accessories I need to do a follow-up video later, because I'm definitely still gonna put the APC 308 video all, all this week. We'll be shooting, disassembly, and more detailed overview. Ho, 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 there she is. Let's uh, just zoom out here. I'll pull the gun out and then we'll do a zoom out. Wow. Actually, this thing is surprisingly light. Wow. Okay. Okay, that's the bipod he sent me. I was asking him for a, for a bipod to send it to me. This thing looked good too. And he sent me the new AccuTac. Pretty excited about that. If you haven't uh, seen these guys before, you just... Pull them out and then press the lever, auto retract, super slick, super slick. I like that. Okay, cool. Tyson, you might not get this thing back. Um, anyways, 
sent me a PMAG because this thing does take standard PMAGs. And just in case he didn't, I had some of my own. Got a windowed PMAG 25 rounder. All right, magazine release right here. IWI mag. This is a CAC Knights Armor Co. SR25 mag. It slides right in there too. It locks. All right. All right. All right. And uh, let's pop her out here. There we go. Full screen. And for kicks, when you got a D50, you got to try the D50 and see what that looks like. All right. This is a cool, cool gun. This has the uh, their folding version of the stock, though it doesn't have the uh, cheek riser. Tyson, what's with uh, where's the cheek riser on this guy, huh? Huh? Well, nonetheless, I will. Uh, man, this thing is nice. Again, I'm really surprised by how light it is because these guns are tanks. Um, but this is this is looking good. I like this very very much. They do the polymer kind of style rails on uh, these little outer rails are polymer just keep the weight down this fluted barrel is gorgeous but uh all right all right well we're gonna we're gonna cut her there for an unboxing video this thing's already hitting eight minutes which is a little a little long but i like to talk so hopefully that was all interesting for you guys again this is going to be the future firearm this week check out my instagram there'll be stuff on there there'll be yeah, lots of stuff on here. So, I guess uh, I guess that's that's that. Thanks a lot, guys. Armor gun out. Thank you, Carl Brueger, for being a genius with firearms, and thank you, Wolverine Supplies, for for being being beauties and sending this out to me. Matt Hipwell, the current manager, CEO. John Hipwell, the founder. Tyson LeBro, the sales manager that uh, made this happen. So, thanks a lot, guys. Armor gun out. And I'm back because I forgot something. I forgot two things actually. One, I just noticed there is a scratch up here. So Tyson, I did not do that, that was not me. Literally, I just took this thing out now. So that was there, that's the lab. You can thank those guys. Uh, nothing else really, I think this is pretty, honestly this thing is, this thing is gorgeous. But I uh, also want to say, because uh, this video is out as of Saturday morning, go check out Wolverine Supplies. Go, you can actually see Tyson, the dude that sent this to me. They do a Saturday Breakfast Club more video every morning on Wolverine Supplies. I will. I'll put a link right here. This is uh, this is their channel. Their their this is the link for their video today, right there. So cool. They did not ask me to do that. They did not ask me to say anything. They literally just sent me the gun. So so that's that. And because I want to start doing this to feature firearm to kind of entice you guys to watch to the end. Here's a feature firearm of the week. And just not a feature around the week, sorry, that's that's the uh, that's this boy. But just a cool gun to just be like, yo, this gun is this gun is cool. And you should learn more about it. We're gonna just grab this out of the safe. This is the Fame SG542. This gun is Chili's. It's a 308 battle rifle. This Chili still uses this. Chili, if you didn't know, has a hugely diverse environment from deserts to mountaintops, and this gun they designed to to battle it out in all of them. So I think a, a, a subscriber, someone recently commented that and told me about that, it was, it was pretty interesting, so I wanted to uh, to get that out there, but it's it's based on the SIG 542, the SIG 540 series with the 308 version, and it's just a tank of a gun. It's They licensed the design, and now they build these all in Chile, at FAME, I think it's F-A-M-A-E. I'm not quite sure how to pronounce it, but we're gonna say FAME or FAME, and that's the state-owned firearms or, uh, manufacturer. Super cool stuff. So it's a gorgeous gun. I have a, I have a more or less a full video suite on this gun. I got a, num a bunch of FAME stuff. I really like FAME, and they're, they're, you can get them in Canada. So, uh, so I've got a mini mini SAF video. I've got this video. I've got the SBR two two three gun, and actually. I haven't said this to anybody, but I've got the their new modern 9mm PCC, the SAF 200. That guy just got in after like a two-year import. They take forever, a year and a half actually. For me, they, they're tough. There's a lot of export stuff like, that just takes forever to get stuff out of Chile. And for me, they do military stuff too, so they're kind of... Civilian contract comes around, they don't care too much. But that SAF 200, I just talked to the owner of Tactical Imports yesterday. 
that's it's in. It's ready to go. It should be shipping to me. Well, it had to transfer to my name first because it's a restricted firearm in Canada, which means it's registered. So once that transfers formally into my main into my name through the federal system, then they'll they'll send it off. That should be literally like I should I should get it this next week here. So I'll be doing a feature on that before Christmas as well, likely. Anyways, thanks guys. Catch you next time.